Hi guys and welcome back to another Tuesday 2 minute tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a monochromatic effect in your photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just open Photoshop. And today I'm working on this photo which I got from unsplash.com. So what we want to do today is to create a monochromatic effect, but just not just using simply black and white. What we're gonna do is actually add in a particular color. So what we want to do firstly is just go ahead and change this firstly to black and white to create the monochromatic effect. Then we're going to add the color in afterwards. So what we're gonna do is go down to our adjustment layers again, and we're going to go up to black and white. And this will just change that photo from color into black and white, but still keeping the red, green, and blue channels open. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go to our adjustment layers again. So remember, bottom right-hand corner. And we're going to go ahead to solid color. And this is where we're going to choose a particular color of your choice. And today, I'm going to choose a nice blue color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a blue like so. All you'll need to do is to confirm is just simply click the OK button. Once you've done that, you're just going to need to go ahead and change the blending mode of this. So I'm going to go ahead from our blending mode options just above our layers. I'm going to click. I'm going to go down to overlay. Once you've done that, all you'll need to do is just simply change the opacity. So I'm going to go to our opacity icon. I'm just going to lower it down until you are happy with the amount of color introduced. So I find anything under 20% works best. So I'm going to choose 15 in this particular case. And again, if you'd like to change this color in any way, all you'll need to do is just simply double click on that icon and you could go ahead and choose any color of your choice. I find blue works really, really nicely, but also so does a nice dark purple. So we'll go for something like so. But I'm going to go ahead and change it back to blue because I really like that for this photo. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that's how you can create a monochromatic tint effect in Photoshop. 